Hey everyone, Chris here and welcome back to Thief Simulator 2. So I've done a little bit of grinding and I think we're just about ready for this forest side resort. So potential profit is about $20,000, which sounds absolutely amazing. I already got the required items, which are the automatic lockpick and the shovel. I haven't tried the automatic lockpick out, so this will be kind of a test run. The one issue with this place is that it's just absolutely packed with people. And there's just not a whole lot of overlap when people are out, but I'm assuming it's kind of different houses. Because look at this briggy person. They're just everywhere all day. Oh, I guess they're a security guard. I guess that makes sense. So yeah, let's get started with that and kind of see how it goes. All right, got a call from our employer. All right, Mr. Thief, you got this. I need diamond earrings. They're oh, that's new. House 2C. Big chance they're locked in a cabinet. A guy before you chickened out mid-job and buried the key to the cabinet somewhere in the resort. A disaster of a guy, let me tell you. That's why we need to the shovel. When got you it. Have it. Find the earrings and send them to me via Black Bay. If you can manage this, we'll rob a certain warehouse next. Good luck. Thanks, because I'm definitely going to need it. So right away, we kind of already have to break into the resort. So this is the automatic lockpick here. Um, okay, I mean, that's pretty simple. Not the fastest, but I think it's honestly faster than anything I could do. That's for sure. So we've got the security booth here. Let's just kind of check it out. I mean... Might as well grab some stuff, right? These rich guys treat me like I'm some pushover. Do this, bring me a coffee, bring me cigarettes, or I'll make you lose your job. If I could, I would take them out and bury them in the forest. There's plenty of space. Oh, so this security guy does not like the residents here. So I'm kind of wondering if I should just completely avoid people. We already got a guy there, because I'm kind of assuming this place is just completely locked. Oh, there's like a shovel thing somewhere by this tree, maybe? I just gotta avoid that guy. Uh oh, uh oh. So yeah, I gotta really be on my my toes for this one. Okay, while well, he's hopefully distracted, let's open this up. Oh, got some American whiskey there. All right, let's have a look around here. And then I think he said our main goal was that house number 2C. So probably shouldn't grab too much. Oh, there's also some sort of a mystery item over here. Which I can't quite get to right now, but that's fine. Maybe I should uh, be sneaking a little bit more. Oh, we got someone partying back there. And we got another dig location here. So let's open that up. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Wait, who detected me? How? Wait, what? How? 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 Okay, uh, let's just hide in the trash can for now. I mean, it's not like anyone saw me, I think. They just kind of heard something. Well, they heard me digging, that's for sure. And it doesn't seem like actual police are here. It's just a security guard, right? Oh, never mind. There's a... Oh, yeah, it's still security. Oh, my goodness. That took literally forever for the police to kind of leave. So, I uh, really don't want to get caught. And, oh, would you look at down the bottom left? It's Burglar Awareness Day. So, probably the worst day possible. T what? Oh, my gosh. She's just kind of working out over there. <laughs> I thought she just literally fell face forward. So I think there's supposed to be some sort of keys over here. Yeah, yeah, I can see it right there. So 2C cabinet key. Oh gosh, I got caught again. Nope. Okay, this is actually try number three. Uh, I did come back a little bit earlier, but I think because I left the front gate open, they discovered some sort of break in and I was at two stars. It was just a kind of a mess. So I got to really pay attention to, you know, cover my tracks here. So let's go ahead and make our way over to house 2C, I believe. That's where the diamond earrings are at. Why were the police caught, caught by the camera? What camera? What the heck? This is absolutely insane here. Holy guacamole. Okay, we're just going to do this while we're kind of being hunted by police. Uh, I don't think anyone's in this house, so let's just break in there really quickly and grab the smart speaker. I think that's actually part of our task as well. So let's go through here. And then where the heck is that speaker? I really hope no one's in this house. I don't even know what house this is. Uh, let's go ahead and grab that. Ooh, I think there's a laptop right here. Low end laptop. Oh gosh, but that means our backpack's pretty much full. Yeah, so it said something about a camera, but I'm not seeing a camera anywhere. Okay, police are officially gone. And oh my gosh, see, that was not like showing up red whatsoever. Maybe because it was still kind of daytime. I guess that's what happened. 
I literally walked right into it. That was kind of embarrassing. I mean, do I even need to disable that one? Not really. Uh-oh. Lost the drone? How? Ah, oh, don't tell me it fell. Okay. It's kind of, uh, barely outside the range. This hide is going absolutely horrible. And yeah, it does seem like there's actually multiple pieces of loot we're supposed to collect. So I already got the speaker from house 1A. I'm supposed to get an antique clock from 1B and the microwave from this house. I mean, I'm right here, so let's go ahead and disable that camera and try to get the microwave. It's kind of a larger item, I would assume. So might need some help to, you know, kind of get it out. So 2B, okay, there's someone in the back garden right now, which is probably not the best time to go in there. But I'm actually not seeing them. We also got some hidden loot over here. Let's see. Ah, USB, okay, that's not too useful right now. No one's really around, right? So we should we just go for it? I think we're just gonna go for it, unfortunately. No uh secret cameras, right? Uh oh, there comes a a guard there. Just gonna hop the fence. And yeah, no one no one's here as far as I can tell. Let's open up the door and grab that microwave pretty quickly. Oh, I should open that slowly. Keep forgetting to do stuff like that. Gosh, this is absolutely nerve-wracking. Because there could be someone in here. I'm just not seeing them. Ooh, creek wine. I think that's the other wine I need. Somehow I fit the whole microwave there. Okay, so we got two of the items. Let me go back to the truck really quickly. And we'll kind of continue the highs from there. Okay, I actually ended up going back to the hideout and selling some of the stuff. So our next target is over here. So we got to get the antique wall clock in 1B. And apparently 2A and 2B... Those houses are actually just kind of empty. Oh, so this is kind of perfect. So apparently the guy's sleeping right now. I do have to be aware that they don't always stay sleeping the whole night. Sometimes they can be a little bit restless or have different events. So we got to make this super quick. Um, Okay, I thought he'd be like right there on his bed, you know, but guess not. Let's open that nice and uh, sneaky. Let's grab that clock. I'm actually... Pretty lucky that most of this is just a uh, fitting in the backpack. Okay, that that's pretty much everything I feel comfortable taking right now. So let's move on to house number, what is it, 2C. I think that's the last thing we need, at least for the quest. We could always come back and loot other things later, I think. Now the question is, how the heck do I get out of here? Is that a gate? Please tell me that's a gate. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, hey there, Mr. Kitty. Let's relock that and... Good job, little kitty. All right, here we are at 2C. Um, so apparently the person there is actually sleeping for the next couple hours. I just saw that camera. So good thing I did because, um, you know, I might have ran through it. And there was also a security guard kind of walking around the left side. I just need to find a good way in. Yeah, the security guards are way over there. Man, this is a pretty complex mission, actually. I guess it makes sense because it's a it's a whole like resort thing. So we're supposed to get oh window alarms. Good thing I was about to go through that window actually. And the diamond earrings are inside here in a locker. Oh gosh, that's like right next to her though. Okay, I do you see an escape route right there? Trying to trying to do a little bit more planning because uh I kind of tend to just rush into things here. So I think for this house we just gotta go through the front door. Hopefully this doesn't wake her up. I also did see I oh okay. Bad time to say something. But I was going to say, I did see in the laptop, there are some upgrades for our tools that make them better or quicker. So maybe we should do some of that later. I think it only costs money, not any sort of a EXP. Okay, let's open that. And now we got to use that. Gosh, I feel like I'm making so much noise. And there are the diamond earrings. Got a special skill point, And I think that's pretty much everything for the quest itself let's just grab a couple more things actually i think my backpack's full and overloaded oh gosh oh gosh security's coming this way oh gosh oh gosh oh gosh oh gosh oh gosh he saw nothing i'm not even gonna look back just try and get behind this house Ooh. oh my goodness my heart kind of sank there okay good thing i knew about this little wall to kind of escape through hopefully that's not making too much noise Oh gosh, I thought the bright red meant we got caught. Okay, but I think that's a job well done as long as we get out of here. 
let's just touch this little edge here and i think we're good all right here we are back at the hideout let's go ahead and put away some of that stuff oh, i guess i gotta keep the diamond earrings on me because the main quest says to sell it via black bay so let's go ahead and do that and we'll probably get a call Ooh, we got lots of stuff here that's really good Ooh, even some electronics there and the diamond earrings oh my goodness two thousand five hundred dollars that's really good and yeah i think that's about it for black bay right now we're almost done with all the kitchen stuff so we just need a coffee maker and a teapot and yeah here's the stuff i was talking about earlier so to upgrade it so if you want to you can do a little bit of customization like change the color of the crowbar seems kind of random but sure let's go with red and then same thing for our tools so makes lock picking with this tool a little bit easier. I mean, why not, right? It's like a thousand dollars. Same thing for that one. And this seems really useful. So planning mode adds one more waypoint per upgrade. So I think we get to see like maybe another hour ahead. Let's just do a little bit of everything. So stethoscope and let's do one more lock picking skill there. So that should be pretty good. Three out of four stars. Okay, I'm assuming we're going to get a call right now. Yep. Great job. On to the next. It's a local warehouse with all sorts of stuff. We'll need several things, but most importantly, a map of the area. I happen to know where it is. The map is at 107, locked away in a cabinet. However, listen to this. The tenants had a locksmith copy a key to the cabinet. He made one more copy for himself. Imagine that. He's in Madison Street, walking around. Guy has pink hair, so hard to miss pickpocket his ass oh and there's our target so there's the guy with pink hair okay we got a parking lot kind of right here so let's go ahead and do that and oh it's even marked on the map with like a big s don't mind me buddy just gonna roll up right behind you and you know steal all your stuff haven't done this on a walking person so it's gonna be a little bit difficult because i gotta kind of keep up with them Ooh, that was pretty good. Of course, I'll just take this phone call right behind the guy I just robbed. Sure. This disaster makes me feel alive. You're probably thrilled as well. Break into 107 and find the cabinet. Open the cabinet, take the map. What else can I explain to you? How to walk? Get to work so we can enjoy Fair enough. life a little longer. All right, so 107 got to steal from the cabinet. Where the heck is that on the map? Haven't been there in a while. Oh, sorry. I was just, you know, backing up my truck, man. Oh, it's over here. I already see some kind of security cameras and stuff, I think. 107. Okay, so we actually haven't robbed this place quite yet. Oh my gosh, I just realized I was walking around with a stolen TV. I think I did that while I was trying to level up a bit. Let's do that. Get a little bit of money. 400 bucks, not bad. I did not even realize that. Yeah, I passed by the hideout and I just pretty much bought all the tips on the house. So let's see what we got here. Oh, it's the one with the dog. Oh, I remember this one. This one was absolutely brutal. They both go to sleep, but then the dog kind of watches the doorway. So all windows have window shutters, super TV upstairs, synthesizer and a wardrobe downstairs. And our main thing is, uh, I think it's upstairs right there. The warehouse plan and sunset painting upstairs. Okay, so this one's going to be... A little tough, mostly because of the dog. And then I guess we'll come back at night. Seems like the best time, maybe. Okay, here we are, 7 o'clock. So I think two of them are about to leave. I think it's going to be the lady and the dog. How's this lock? Oh, kind of hoping to see how the, the upgrade was doing. I mean, I don't know if it's really all that much quicker. And I should have probably waited a little bit longer. Yeah, where the heck is the other person? I think I'm thinking of a different house. Well, let's use the drone, disable the camera. Go ahead and do that. Uh oh, why was that lady saying, uh huh? Is she leaving? Oh, she's coming over here. Saw nothing. Oh, never mind. She's on her way out. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. And then I think we still have a couple hours where uh, he's asleep. So until 11 o'clock, we make that map a little bit smaller. Oh, that's pretty good. Um, and then I'm assuming they're probably leaving for about two hours. So let's go up there really quickly and just try to get that stuff. Okay, that upgrade seemed to help this one quite a bit, too. So, synthesizer right here. Apparently, we fit that in our backpack. Sure. And let's head upstairs somehow. Where are the stairs at? I need to know. So, this is the bathroom, clearly. Trying to make this as quick as possible. Oh, I mean, the stairs are right there. All right, hopefully, he kind of stays asleep there. So, let's grab that. Nice and easy. 
And there are the plans. Nice. I don't know. Not right now. Yeah, whatever. All right, time for some real action. This time, everything important will be marked for you, thanks to the warehouse plan. Next heist might not be that easy. Make sure you're ready. I'll call once you're there. Okay, so it seems like that unlocked another heist. I guess while we're here, let's go ahead. Oh, no, that's a super TV. That's way too large. Ooh, game station. I think we needed one of those. Okay, but I should probably be, um, you know, getting the heck out of here. So I think the owners are going to be back any minute now. Let's go ahead and close that up and relock it. Because, yeah, that actually wasn't too bad. It's just, you know, it's very quick. It's not a whole lot of time to do everything you want to do. Let's grab a little bit more money there. And I think we got enough time for the laptop. I think. Yeah, there we go. Oh, gosh, they're home. They're home. They're home. Let's close that, relock it, and be on our way. Because they, I think they will notice when some stuff's missing, right? But hey, I'd call that a, a job well done. They had no idea I was even in there. Okay, just sold some stuff on Black Bay, and we did level up, but let's hold off on the skill point to see what's kind of necessary here. Oh, yeah, so we need the garage, but I think we're pretty much good on everything else. So potential profit is, again, $20,000, got three guards, one worker, and the main goal is to steal the forklift. Okay. You know, somehow this one actually doesn't seem as bad because at one point, two of them are gone. But I guess the harder part here is that they're all protecting just one big building, you know? All right, so we got to get the garage. Is that, um... I think that might be a house expansion thing. Yeah. Oh, I think it's by the side over here. Let's see. So garage, maybe? Yeah, $8,000. So I have... How much do I have? 4663 But I think I deposited some in the bank a while ago. So let's head over to the dark bank. And yeah, I got another uh, 5000 there. By the way, you do actually earn interest here. So if you deposit, you get 4% weekly. So not too bad, actually. Kind of pays to uh, save up money. All right, let's head over here and get that garage. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Oh, it literally opens this whole area. Ooh, interesting. So I'm guessing when we get cars, we kind of come over here and kind of disassemble them. And we still got our locker here. And I still have lots of locked phones, which I'm assuming I need a hacking skill to kind of be able to unlock it and sell it how about we use our skill to upgrade our backpack so increase the size to 20 kilograms which i think should be super helpful and how about we leave it there for now so next time we'll go ahead and take on that heist but you know i'll try to scope it out a little bit better than i did last time maybe we'll wait for a special day that everyone's a little bit chiller so yeah like always thanks for watching and see you next time